So now we're up with how to deal with angles over in the fourth quadrant. And just as a quick reminder, the fourth quadrant goes from the negative y-axis up to the positive x-axis. So that's our angles from 270 degrees up to 360 degrees in our standard polar coordinates. And 315 degrees is their midpoint. If we take a look at that, we're always going to have positive x values minus y values. Let's take an example. Maybe we've got an x equal to 5 and a y equal to minus 2. If we want to find out what that angle is, we come back to our standard trig formulas. Now again, the definitions are always written, almost always, using a example triangle that's over here in the first quadrant. And when they do that, they point out that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Our trig functions are circular functions, though, so that same basic function is going to work for the fourth quadrant, but we have to look carefully at how we're defining our angles. So let's take a look at this. If I want to do theta, that's going to be the inverse tangent of y over x, which in this case is the inverse tangent of minus 2 over 5. If I plug that into my calculator, inverse tangent of negative 2 divided by 5, I'm going to get a value of minus 21.8 degrees. Now, negative 21.8 degrees is not between 270 to 360, so how are they defining this angle? Well, when we think about it, they look at that angle and it's actually using an alternate notation where instead of defining everything between 270 and 360, most calculators look from 0 degrees, rotate around positive to 180 degrees. Or if you're down here, it goes from 0 to 180 degrees in the opposite direction, where this is now minus 90 instead of the plus 90. So by that definition of our angle, minus 21.8 degrees is 21.8 degrees below the zero degree line. And that's kind of where we expect it to be. Because our x is larger than our y, we're over here. We should be between this midpoint and the x-axis. And so that's what this number is showing us. So if we've got an angle over here, that negative 21.8 degrees is showing us that we're below the x-axis. You may need to put it, though, into your standard polar coordinates, which would give you a value between 270 and 360 using the counterclockwise direction. Well, if you need to do that, realize that instead of measuring clockwise down, what we really have to do is go all the way around the circle. The other way to think of this is this is 21.8 degrees below the 360 degree line. So rather than measuring it versus the zero, it's versus the 360. So we can get our number if we take 360 degrees minus our 21.8 degrees. And in our calculator, that becomes an angle of 338.2 degrees. So on our standard polar coordinates, 338.2 degrees counterclockwise around the circle is giving us the same sort of value as minus 21.8 degrees moving clockwise below the x-axis.